So we are going to solve three questions. This happens to be our first question. Let's try to solve this question together. Question one, calculate the amount of charge represented by 4 million protons, that is A, and then B, 3000 electrons. Now, from this question, we want to find the amount of charge. And we know that the amount of charge Q is given by the integer multiple of the basic unit of charge, or better still, the integer multiple of the elementary charge. So that is N times Q. Now, we know that the charge, the charge per proton is equal to plus 1.5. 602 times 10 raised to the power negative 19 coulombs and then the charge per electron is equal to negative 1.602 times 10 raised to the power negative 19 coulombs so they have the same magnitude only that the charge on the proton is positive while the charge on the electron is negative so a to find the charge or the amount of charge represented by 4 million protons, then we have N to be equal to 4 million, that is 4 times 10 raised to the power 6. So therefore, we have, we have Q of P to be equal to N, which is 4 million times plus 1.602 times 10 raised to the power negative 19. Now, if you multiply these two values, then you are going to obtain 6.408 times 10 raised to the power negative 13 coulombs. So this is the amount of charge represented by 4 million protons. Now to B, we have N to be 3000. So that is 3 times 10 raised to the power 3. Therefore, we have QE to be equal to 3 times 10 raised to the power 3 times negative 1.602 times 10 raised to the power negative 19. We multiply the two values and then we obtain negative 4.806 times 10 raised to the power negative 16 coulombs so now let's move on to the second question so for question 2 the total charge entering a terminal is given by q equals 10 minus 10 times e to the power negative 2 millicoulombs and we are asked to find the current at t equals 0 0.5 seconds So here we have the total charge Q to be 10 minus 10 times E to the power negative 2T milli coulombs. And then we have the time T to be 0 0.5 seconds. Now since we have Q and then we have T, then we know that I is equal to the Q over the T. Now... We have Q to be 10 minus 10 e to the power negative 2t. So we put that here so that we have d 10 minus 10 e to the power negative 2t dt. Now let's try to differentiate what we have in the bracket with respect to t. So we differentiate 10, which is a constant. We have 0. And then we have negative 10 e to the power negative 2t. So let's consider negative 10 as the constant. So we pull out the constant and then we want to differentiate e to the power negative 2t. So in doing this, we first differentiate what we have at the exponent. So derivative of negative 2t with respect to t is negative 2. And then we basically multiply by e to the power negative 2t. So this becomes negative times negative is positive. So we have 20 e to the power negative 2t. That is i. Now we are supposed to find the current at t equals 0 0.5 seconds. So let's input 0 0.5 in place of t. So we have 
at t equals 0 0.5 seconds i is equal to 20 times e to the power negative 2 times 0 0.5 and that becomes 20 times e to the power negative 1 so we can further simplify this as 20 divided by e now notice that this e here is not the elementary charge this e is the ls number and we know that ls number e is equal to 2.7183 let's say if you want to consider that in four decimal places and so we have 20 divided by 2.7183 and then we have current i to be 7.36 notice that the unit for charge was in milli coulombs so we are going to have milli amperes now let's move on to the third question so for question three the current flowing through an element is i equals two amperes where zero is less than t is less than one and then i equals two t square amperes where t is greater than one now we are asked to calculate the charge entering the element at t equals zero to t equals two so from this we obtain the domain we obtain the domain that is from 0 to 2 and we want to find the charge entering the element so we have q equals the integral of i dt from 0 to 2 now the first part of it we have from 0 to 1 so that's going to be the integral of i dt from 0 to 1 and then plus the integral of i dt now here we have t greater than 1 now because we know that the domain is from 0 to 2 greater than 1 means it's going to start from after 1 to 2 so it's going to be from 1 to 2 so that is it so let's continue with the rest of the solution so we have the integral from 0 to 1 now from 0 to 1 we have the current to be 2 amperes so that is in place of i we have 2 dt plus integral from 1 to 2 in place of i we have 2 t square dt so we are going to integrate 2 with respect to t and then we have 2t from 0 to 1 plus we are going to integrate 2t square with respect to t and that's going to be 2 over 3 t cube from 1 to 2 so we are going to plug in the upper and the lower limits so first the upper limit we have 2 times 1 minus 2 times 0 plus now 2 over 3 is a constant so we can pull out the constant 2 over 3 inside the brackets we have t cube so first for 2 we have 2 cube minus 1 cube this let's simplify further 2 times 1 is 2 2 times 0 is 0 so we have 2 minus 0 that is 2 plus 2 cube is 8 minus 1 cube we have 7 so plus 2 over 3 times 7 and that is equal to 2 plus 14 over 3 so we want to find the LCM between 1 and 3 that is 3 3 divided by 1 is 3 times 2 is 6 plus 3 divided by 3 is 1 plus 14 is 14 so we are going to have 20 over 3 coulombs that is the total amount of charge entering the element at t equals 0 to t equals 2 so that's it for today's video thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye bye